Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Art. I'm here to do a video. Saturday, late Saturday morning, like 11.30. Have my coffee. Had a really late start this morning. How late? Let's just say I went to bed at a decent time. Woke up at 2 in the morning. Could not get back to sleep till about 6. Hence, late story. All right, late at night. <clears throat> it's kind of cold outside. Thirty-eight degrees. Holy shit! Okay, and I just walked out with my sweatshirt. No wonder why I'm freezing my balls off. All right. Today is going to be a slightly serious video today. Okay, and the reason why it's a slightly serious video is because of the fact that sometimes people who you keep around you don't have your best interest at heart. Now, we all know about this. We know this. Problem is, sometimes we don't see it. Even sometimes with glasses, we can't see it. These are readers, not my reading glasses. But, you, but the idea is, but, the, but that's the idea. Oh, sorry. Should be using these. These are my reading glasses. Even with my glasses, I could not see it. Because what happens sometimes, these people talk a good game. And I'm pretty sure back, back in the day, I talked about this many times. Other people talk about it many times. And the fact that sometimes people play games. And they play games with your life. Not to the point where you're going to die kind of shit. It's the fact that, one, they see what you have. Now, how can I tap into that? Okay, let's say, for example, my friend Tony. He's a YouTuber as well. Dustin Franklin's reviews, he's a Tony man made. He was a, he was a military man. The fun thing is he's in shape. I'll look at him and say, how can I tap into being in shape with him? To be in shape just like him. How can I do that? Now, the thing is that we all know how to lose weight, work out, and all this other shit. But for me to do that is one thing. But if I'm, like, tapping for information like that, that's one thing. But say, for example, someone, say, for example, someone consider themselves my friend. Long story short, I was I helped this person out a lot. At one time, two or three years ago, I bought this person a phone, iPhone, thousand dollars. Bitch has not paid me back one dime. Always promising you're gonna pay back. One thing about some people, they always promise I'm gonna pay. Back. Always, always, always promise I'm gonna pay back, but. It never happens. And so when they say that, you're like, mm-hmm. It's like that show. It's like if you've ever seen that cartoon Popeye. This guy named Wimpy. that goes, I gladly pay you Tuesday for a hamburger today. And I mentioned that in a different video. <laughs> when Tuesday comes, there's no, there's no paying back. Long story short, person came to town because she had a douchebag boyfriend, got pregnant by that dude, which is fine. I don't give a shit. I'm going to go work at this bar to make money because for some reason, if I go, if I work in my hometown, I might run into this dude. I might do this. I might do that. I want to get out of town so I know he can't catch up with me or whatnot. <laughs> okay, fine. Ask me for help. Not money wise, but to get her back and to you know help her drive back and forth. I reluctantly did that. Only reason why I did it because she promised she's gonna pay me back. Hence what I said before. And what you and what happens, you do it because you're hoping that this person will actually follow up, even though you know logically. 
ain't happening. So she got pregnant, and so she had to come up with three grand to pay for an abortion. Half-ass, she halfly ass worked her way all worked her way to making close to that amount of money. So she was like hundred and two dollars short. Now, if that girl would have paid, would have went to work a couple times instead of just saying, ah, I'm not going to go to work, guess what? She would have had the money hands down. She could have had the search. She could have had that proceed. She could have had the abortion like a month ago. But no, she's kind of stupid in that respect. All of a sudden, 22 weeks later, oh my gosh, I, I got to get the abortion now. Otherwise, I have to keep it. I'm looking around like, you're dumb as fuck. <laughs> but here I am, being dumb as fuck by helping this bitch out. By driving her here and there. <laughs> Not getting anything out of it. So what happened is her idea was, like, well, I'm going to hang out with you a couple times. A lot of times she hangs out with me to get from point A to point B. When I started noticing that pattern, I was like, nope. Case in point, I'm going to hang out with, I want to get to this point right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask Art if he wants to hang out for a little bit. Then I'm going to hit him up because this place is on his way home. He drove all the way out here to get me. I'm going to hang out here for a hot second, get a drink, get a little bite to eat. And then on his way home, ask him to drop me off on his way home. So that way I can get to point B. At first, I was like, what the fuck's going on here? Why am I driving? Then, all of a sudden, I thought about it. A, B, me. Oh, hell no. Stop that shit. <laughs> You're staying at this dude's house for free. Which is my ex-girlfriend's house. Where she was staying when she dumped, she dumped me. Went to this, went with this one dude. So, she's staying at this dude's house. And... She's staying there for free because of the fact that he was in love with her and all sorts of shit. Which is fine. So now. So here we are. She gets an abortion. Fine. I don't care. The day she gets her abortion, she says, I'm going to leave Wednesday. She said she was going to leave Wednesday. A couple of days ago. Because she has a wedding today. I don't... <laughs> her sister is getting married today. Sometime today. And she decided to get the abortion a couple of days before that. And I'm like, okay, fine. You're dumb as fuck. Oh, well. So she asked me to hang out with her. Because she's feeling emotional. And of course, me... Like, uh, sure, why not? Why not? Okay, so I go help her out. We talk to we talk for a little bit. You know, she's telling me all her why she's feeling so depressed and all this other shit. I was like, she always wanted a boy, and the the mess that she aborted was a boy. I'm like, well, you had. The choice to take care of it earlier. All those times, I said, all those times where you could have went to work, but you decided you want to hang out here, you want to hang out there, instead of sitting your ass at home. If you don't want to work, you sit your ass at home. You watch TV, you sit your ass at home. But no, you want to go hang out. You want to be a partier. So... You could have had this operation three, four weeks ago. You could have had this operation last month. So I basically said that shit to her. Of course she, I understand, but you didn't have to be so mean about it. I like, okay. I'm like, hey, I'm telling you the truth. So she has a phone. She's been basically, she bought a phone, but she had no service, so she had to use Wi-Fi. So, a lot of times she asked to borrow, to use my hotspot. Now, I'm not going to do this, 
but technically you can turn your phone to a hotspot in three seconds. All right. You can turn your hot, your phone to a hotspot in three seconds. There is a reason why I'm mentioning that twice. Okay. It's 10 minutes. I'm trying to get this under 20. So what happened is she asked me to log on to the hotspot. Now, if I go like this, open my phone, go like this, there's a code that you got to put in. I'm not, I don't give her the code. I use this, which is for fingerprint. Because if I gave her the code, she's going to remember the code and get into my phone all the time. But my fingerprint, she can't do. So what happened was I'm drinking my beer. This other guy that was sitting next to us at the bar was struck up a conversation with. And she has to use my hotspot. Oh, okay. Like I told you, she had my phone for about three to four minutes. I'm like, what are you doing? She wouldn't answer me. She just kept going like this. So I snatched my phone. Okay. Now here's the thing. I just created a scene right there. A black man snatched a phone out of a white woman's hand. All eyes on me. The bartender, she's looking at me funny. The guy that will sit next to me is looking at me funny. Some customers looking at me funny. I'm like, what did you do? And she wouldn't say shit. She, she's not answering. And the guy the guy looks at me. He goes, well, why'd you snatch, why'd you snatch the phone out of this lady's hand? I said, this is my phone. See? <laughs> oh, okay. When the bartender noticed that, she's like, oh, okay. Okay, cool, cool. This is your phone. You took it back. Okay. <laughs> Everybody calms down, but people are still looking. So I'm like, okay, let me go to the bathroom. I said, let me go to the bathroom. I'm looking around. I said, what did she do on my phone? So I look at my, I open my phone. I'm like, okay, fine. That looks great. This part looks great too. All right. Come here. Something's out of order. Something's out of order. Hmm. Okay, so I looked up and said, what's out of order? Hmm. Your Western Union's right there. MoneyGram is still there. Lyft is still there. Okay. So now, here's the thing. I looked up. With Western Union, Lyft, with Lyft, there's, you have to have a code to get into to do some. Okay, so she don't have that. Western Union and MoneyGram, you have to have a code. I have Cash App. There's no code for Cash App. Now, I looked up. I looked at my call. I said, let me look at my call logs. Okay. So, why is she, what is, what's going on? So, I open up my Cash App. I open up Cash App like so. I'm like, okay, everything looks right. Then I look at the history. Ten, five minutes before I got my phone, before I snatched my phone back, I sent her $105. I sent her $105. Now, here's a question. The phone was not in my hand to send her $105. I checked my bank. Yes, I sent her $105. So this bitch went on my phone, cashed up herself $105 fucking dollars. Basically, she stole from me. But the problem is, it looks like I just gave it to her. So she has plausible deniability. My man, and what happened, I was sitting in the bathroom. I remember my man Tony said, all right, delete that shit. 
delete that shit. And I should have said, damn, I should have deleted this shit. So now I'm a hundred dollars lighter, which means there's certain bills. I can't, that means there's a bill that I can't pay now. I got to wait a couple more weeks to pay this bill now to pay a bill. So I'm pissed off. I can't do anything to this girl in public. Now, the problem is that if you're not, you should, she just had an abortion earlier that day. She shouldn't even be on her feet while she's wearing pumps and, and some shit like that. I'm like, okay. I said, what did you do? I come back and said, what did you do? And she's kept quiet. Like, I don't know. What, what are you talking about? Bitch lying. Okay. So what happened is I said, okay, uh, give me the bill. I said, bill. No. She said, can I get another? I'm like, no, no. You're done. Give me the bill. Get the bill, sign it. I just walked off. Walked off, got in my car. I was dis I was pissed off. I was mad, disgusted. I wanted to kill this bitch. Now, mind you, here's the thing. I don't advocate violence towards women. I don't advocate towards that. But when somebody does something like that, you understand the feeling. So that's the reason for me saying that. So she gets in the car, starts crying about how much, why am I being such an asshole to you? Why am I being such an asshole to her? Maybe because you stole $100 from me. I said, you tell me what you did on my phone. I don't know what you mean. I try to log on to the hotspot. I'm like, you sure now? Are you fucking sure? I'm going to drive your ass home. Can you please take me to Meyer so I can buy some stuff? I'm like, all right. I'll take you to Meyer. Drop off at a Meyer. I parked. I called my bank. I called the bank. Can't do anything because that kind of see like like Western Union or MoneyGram, they have to actually pick it up. You can't send it to them. Well, you could, probably could, but as like a, as a card kind of thing. But Cash App, it's one of those things. Once it's done, it's a done deal. You can't get it back. So after about twenty minutes, I said, okay. She's like, where are you at? I'm like, I'm in the car talking to someone. Are you talking to this girl X? I'm like, why would I be talking to girl X? Well, because I know you called her recently. I'm like, I'm thinking to myself, oh, you probably, she's probably asking for money. So I'm thinking to myself, she probably looked at my call logs, saw I talked to her recently, and thinking I was going to give her money. So she decided, says, if I'm going to give this person money, which I didn't, she's going to get some money. I think. After the debacle in Meyer, which I almost had a meltdown in Meyer, even at two, now the thing is, this is like at one o'clock in the morning at Meyer. I had a, almost had a meltdown. Now, the problem is, I looked up, it's like, I can't confront this bitch in public. Because if I do, I will get emotional and I will probably do something that will land my ass in jail. So, funny thing is, the bitch was smart. Enough, she was dumb to steal from me, but smart enough to do it in such a way that I couldn't react until later. That's probably why she was pushing things around and not doing stuff right away, hoping I would forget. Now, how are you going to forget this? It's like me going to my mom. For example, my mom sometimes said, Hey, can you get a hundred something dollars out of my bank? I'm like, Why don't you try to do it yourself? You got a car? She gives me her ATM card. It's like me, because thing is, I could say, hey, I can take out thirty extra dollars. I could do. I could say I could do that. Problem is, I don't because guess what? That's my mom. I don't do shit like that. I don't do shit like that. That's scantlet. That's wrong. And I try to get this video. See, every time I try to do this video, it's always been 30 minutes. 
and I kind of got it close. Uh, every time I try to do it, it keeps getting longer and longer. But long story short, I confronted the bitch. She lied to my face. I said. Then she like, why would I steal from you? Why would I do that? And I, I maybe it maybe it tried to maybe it just lease money to you me for some strange reason. I'm like, N no, because you told me. If you send money to you, their bank charge you five dollars. So if you get a hundred, so if someone sending you a hundred dollars, you get ninety five. So why is a hundred and five dollars? Okay, fine. All right, cool. You don't want to. You lying to me? I said you lied to me. No, no, and you lying to me? You stole from me? You lied to me? Right in my face? And you expect me to believe this shit? Really? If it's in my bank, I'll send it back to you. How are you going to send it back? You just spent a hundred bucks in Meyer. So you have nothing to send back. I'm like, you were smart enough. You were smart enough to do that to me today. The funny thing is I do all this shit for you. I did a lot of shit for you. And you, this is what you do. I said, you're home. Sorry you had to get a, sorry you had to abort your kid. But you're gonna get you're gonna have to get your ass out of here because I feel like killing your ass. I don't care. Jump out my car. Make sure you got all your shit because if any of your shit's in my car, when I get home the next day, if the find shit in your car, it's getting thrown out. After that, I drove off. Fuming, steaming. Now here's a question. Did that hundred bucks really really screw me up? No, it just means I couldn't pay a bill. I couldn't pay a bill, but that's okay. You know why? I get paid next Friday. Fine. So I didn't hear from him for the next couple of days, which is great. Yesterday. Can you take give me an Uber to point this point so my sister can pick me up? I said, no. I'm thinking to myself, you stole from me. You lied about it. And now you want me to get your Uber to send you somewhere? Are you fucking out your mind? I said, your sister drove all the way out here to get you. She can come, She can drive another hour to pick your ass up. The guy you're saying with, he can, he can get your Uber there. But he does a lot for me already. And she called me. Why are you not doing this? I said, because you stole from me, you stupid bitch. And you lied about it, you stupid bitch. I was planning on doing this. Like, it doesn't matter what you planned. You stole from me. You don't steal, you steal from people, you know, if you're going to steal, you steal from people you don't like. People you don't respect. But you stole from me, which means you don't like me, you don't respect me. So why the fuck should I help you? Find your own way for a goddamn change. Hung up. Hope she had a great day. I'm still a little bit hot about it. I'm still a little hot about it, but, you know, it's a lesson learned. Lesson learned. If you claim that if your friends really give a shit about you, they won't do shady shit to you. Now, your friend might do shady shit for you, but they won't do shady shit to you. So, I learned a lesson that this person right here, Shady as fuck. And the funny thing is about it, I should have known. That's my downfall. But anyway, I try to get this, I try to keep this video under 15 minutes, but I couldn't do it. I try to film this thing three day three times the other day, try to do it three times sit yesterday, and it still wouldn't work. And I got it down to 25 minutes. So sorry for keeping you for long for this video. Okay. So just be careful in your life because sometimes 
people do shady shit. All right. Talk to you later.